guys, what's up? It's Will here, and today I'm going to be doing my first Photoshop tutorial, and this is going to be going over how to uh, do indents and how to make a really nice looking uh, like desktop backgrounds or backgrounds in general by uh, using events. So, let's go ahead and find my logo. It's a FPS Rusher logo. Um, is that my logo? That's an old logo. Uh... No, I know where to find my Lego. It's right here. Okay, so here we go. So now that we have our logo, we're gonna go ahead and copy it over into this new document here. And there it is. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this to a darker grayish color. Uh, not like super dark, still bright, but like a darkish grayish color. And let's go ahead and get our rulers up. If you don't know how to do rulers, uh, you basically hit Command or Control R, and it'll uh, turn these guides or these rulers on and off. And then to get the guides, you just click and drag, or I think you can double click. No, uh, I think it's I don't know. There's somewhere where you can like right click or you can like click it and like tell it where to go. But let's be on me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and line this up. And let's go and shrink it down a little bit, and then grab one of my favorite fonts ever, uh, Helvetica Nuve, and we will write Will Haddock Design. And I think it's still spaced out, so let's see. Yep. Okay. Let's set that to about 24, and we'll place it just under. And actually, I'm gonna put it like there. And let's make that a little bit smaller. Okay, so there we go. Uh, just like that. Let's shake that down a bit. Okay, so now we're gonna make the logo be what's indented. Um, the good thing about indent is you can really put anything as the background for this because it's an indent. For this, I'm going to be doing a um, brighter but still dark gray color, that one works. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and out add an outer glow, set it to white, set it to overlay, and turn the opacity a little bit down. And what that does is it adds a nice like, you know, outline that it looks like the light shining. The only downfall to this is it's as if the light is coming directly at it. It's not like it's coming at from coming at it from like an angle. You can achieve that by instead of doing outer glow, do an inner shadow, set distance to zero, angle to 90 degrees, and actually distance up a little bit. And then you want to make it white, set the blend mode to overlay and drop the opacity a little bit and that'll give kind of the same effect going to the angle but or get going to the sides but at like any angle you want so we're gonna do the outer glow instead of the inner shadow but instead and if you did the inner shadow all you'd have to do is an inner glow uh, set that to black and that'll be your indent but we're gonna use inner shadow for that so outer glow is gonna be our outline uh, something's on my screen. Okay, so outer glow is going to be our outline, and the inner shadow is going to be black. Uh, overlay works. Distance up a little bit. Kind of. Well, actually, distance has to be at zero because of the way the light is. And then let's edit it a little bit. And let me go to the inner shadow real quick. That down or up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and add a satin, make the color or make the blend mode overlay color white, uh, opacity 8%. Actually, let's do that at 4%, 3%, with an angle of 180 degrees, distance of 0, and size of 15. There we go. And there you go, you have a pretty nice indent right there. Uh, one thing I'm going to add to the background there is I'm going to create a new layer. And 
Usually I do this on the main layer, I just use the dodge and burn tool. But for this, I'm going to uh, use uh, oh, my mic as well. Use our uh, brush tool here, and I just want to kind of lighten up the center area here to kind of make it look as if the light uh, is not just on the sides or not just you know the edges. It's actually like a legitimate light, and a little bit brighter. And there you go. That kind of gives you your indented effect that you're looking at. Uh, I really like this event, uh, effect. I've used it on a lot of uh, different desktop backgrounds I've done for clients who are looking for you know, a desktop for all the PCs in their office or all the Macs in their office or anything uh, that they need, uh, you know, like work computers or anything. I've done quite a lot for that, uh, a lot of that effect. And I mean, it's a really cool looking effect. Um, it's been Will, and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a comment and tell me what you guys want a tutorial on. Please like up the video, and I hope you guys have an awesome week. Peace.